And finally, we have the Florida Panthers taking on the Pittsburgh Penguins. And at this time, it's on national television. Um, these two teams have met roughly three weeks ago on a Friday night where the Florida Panthers did beat them in, in, in via shootout. And it was not easy to, considering the fact that the, there were a lot of questionable calls in that game. This one, it's been roughly all the Florida Panthers as it is just an incredible, incredible game for the for the Florida Panthers on national television as we are just proving time and time again that we are coming for that cup and, and nobody is going to do a darn thing to stop us. Okay, it is Sergei Bobrovsky going up against Pittsburgh's Tristan Jari. Um, in the first in the first period, there was really not much to say. I mean, kind of a boring period. There was a not there was not a lot of shots on goal. Either shots were missed or it was getting blocked by other people. It was just a it was just a it was a snooze fest. That period was a snooze fest. Really, not much to say about the first period at all. Other than there was a, there was some shots in. There were a couple of penalties against Florida. You know. Uh, Ryan Lomberg, um, yeah, that was a dumb move. He um, had the puck, and he was trying, I think he was trying to get it off the wall, but that flung too high up, so that's delay of game uh, by a rule, and the Florida Panthers did kill this penalty off, um, and the pucks were just getting blocked. So, not much to say about that penalty. Another penalty was called... Uh, nine minutes later, Ulrich Mellerson gets called for a cross check on Jake Gwinsell. That would that would get that would get things rolled up. So Pittsburgh goes on yet another power play, and that power play would be killed off. That, now finally, we do get some shots on goal as we haven't already uh, with um, with Pierre Javari with the wrist shot that wanted to be saved by Bobrovsky, and then we and then we end the first period nil nil. Now. Now, in now at the end of that first period, something happened. I guess something was said, and people were getting, um, especially with Ekman Larson and Evgeny Malkin, those two guys went at it. They went it in a big way. Um, they were beating each other up, and we go into the second period, four on four. They were just beating each other up. So, and then as soon as that penalty was over in the second period alone, now there were some shots on goal with uh, with Lars Eller, but uh, went so with the tip and that was saved by Broski. Um, that was now the 4-on-4, four four, and that became a 5-on-5. Five five. And then just like that, another Pittsburgh penal, uh, another Pittsburgh power play. Evan Rodriguez, Rodriguez gets called for a hook against Evgeny Molkin, just coming out of of the penalty box. And then we have a we have a Pittsburgh goal is Jake Gwenzel. It's now one nothing Pittsburgh or was it? So um so Bobrovsky was calling for uh, not Bobrovsky. Paul Maurice, the head coach, challenges the call on the ice. And they were looking to see whatever not if there was a high stick or goaltending interference, just something, right? They saw high stick, completely interfered with Bobrovsky, and they determined that it is high sticking, so there is no goal. Uh, uh, Gwensel's goal has been erased, and, and it remains a it remains a scoreless game. And the Pittsburgh penalty would wind up being killed off the further um, after that. Immediately after, immediately after the Pittsburgh penalty was killed off. There was an amazing goal, a back and forth pass from Rodriguez and Kachuk, and Kachuk is the one that buries it from the left side, assisted by Forsling. That's his 16th assist of the season, and the guy coming out of the penalty box is Evan Rodriguez. That's his 23rd assist of the season, assisting with the wrist shot. It's Kachuk wearing his jersey right here, and he buries it. Just a nice play there, and then. And I knew for a moment that puck gets off the stick, and I just went score, and that and that puck goes in. It's now one nothing, uh, Math uh, Matthew Florida Panthers. Twenty six seconds later, um, 
26 seconds later, I mean, very quickly, another goal by the Florida Panthers, this time assisted by Kevin Stenland, that's his fourth assist of the season, and Monty, that's his tenth assist of the season, off the tip in between the legs of Tristan Chari, an unlikely, an unlikely source. It's Gajovich, Jonet Gajovich, with a tip in goal between the legs of Tristan Chari. And, and very quickly, 26 seconds apart, it is a 2 nothing hockey game. So good start for the period by the Florida Panthers. Challenging the Jake Winsell goal, and then it was a good challenge. And then off, and off that power play, we scored two goals. Amazing. That will get people interested in the Florida Panthers, especially Kenny Albert, who called the Stanley Cup final last season, and millions of people watching all over the country. And we can probably say this, miracle on the nice. We have a Florida power play. Marcus Peterson gets called for a hook against Ryan Lomberg. Florida goes on a power play, and it, but it took a while. There was a shot by for Hagee that was saved by Trish Shanchari. It took a while, but we have yet another power play goal assisted by Rodriguez. That's his tooth. That's a second tooth. That's his second assist of the game and his twenty fourth of the season. And the guy who scored earlier, Matthew Kachuk, that's his fortieth assist of the season. So he has two points of the game off the wrist of the right side. It's Eki. Eric Neckblad off the right side. He gets this one in. That's a power play goal. It's 3 nothing Florida Panthers. Eric Neckblad finally gets another goal. That's his third goal of the season. And it's a big one. <clears throat> then a little bit at that five minutes after the game with, with uh, Pittsburgh trying to get some shots in. Another goal. Four goals in this period alone for the Florida Panthers. Assisted by Nick Cousins. That's his fourth assist of the season. And Matthew Kachuk. That's his second assist of the game. He has 41 assists of the season. That's three points for him at the night. Off the wrist shot. It's Lundell. Anton Lundell gets this one in for Florida Panthers. It's That's his fifth goal of the season. And that is the fourth goal. Uh, that is the fourth goal. Fourth goal of the game. Now... Now, unfortunately, there was there was something that happened. The uh, Pittsburgh would eventually get this score in, um, assisted by Chad uh, Ruel de Rudell, uh, Ru Waddell. That's his second assist of the season, and Gwenzel. That's his that's his um, one assist. That's his thirtieth assist of the game. That's his one assist. I'm telling you. Off the deflection, it's Brian Russ. That's his fourteenth goal of the season. Off the deflection, now. Florida challenged this. Florida challenged this call. Uh, they're saying there was a goaltending interference. Now, unfortunately, I didn't see too much of the goaltending interference and the call in the ice stance. It's a good goal, and by rule, if you lose the challenge, you are de just delaying the game, and Florida has to has to go with another penalty kill. Because of delay of the game, unsuccessful challenge. And that challenge is being served by Ryan Lomberg. So Pittsburgh goes on yet another power play. But thankfully, um, thankfully though, the penalty is is killed off. It wasn't easy. Sidney Crosby almost get almost made it 4-2. But that slot shot hit, hit the crossbar. And it's still a 4-1 game. Now... There was a there was a TV timeout with the with the Chris Latane cross check with Matthew Kachuk. I mean that is just brutal. That's a that's some of the dick move. That is a dickish move there. Um, as the game wasn't personal enough already, he did that against Matthew Kachuk. Now another scrum has happened. Florida goes on another power play. That power play will be killed off, and we go to the third period with the four one advantage. Third period comes along. Shots coming off for Florida. Not not much there has happened. There was Pittsburgh was was getting was getting a lot in with the Chris Latang shot, Marcus Peterson, Jesse Polajari, and all those pucks. Bobrovsky was right there to save it, and Bobrovsky just having himself a night, having himself a night, absolutely amazing. 
All right, then after that, we have another goal. Assist by Los Rin, just stealing the puck from Pittsburgh. Off the wrist shot, it's Lundell with the sixth goal of the season. This might, this might be one of the most bizarre and the most funniest, okay, funniest, bizarre goal I've ever seen in my years of watching hockey. Basically, Lundell shoots the puck, gets blocked, the puck goes up, right? Here comes the puck, goes down, right? It ricochets off the Pittsburgh pe uh, Penguin player. Then it goes down on the pad or the the leg area of Tristan Chari, whatever you want to say, the knee pad, the, the shin pad, whatever you want to call it, right? It deflects off the back of the heel skate and it goes to the back end. Basically, what I'm trying to say is Liddell's shot gets blocked. Goes up there, and it deflects off the back of the shin pad of Tristan Chari, and it slides to the back of the net. That is just, that was, that might, that was really funny, and it was very bizarre. I will say this, bizarre, but very funny. I loved it. That was a nice goal. Really funny goal. I'll take it. However, <laughs> this was funny. Unfortunately, um, Pittsburgh got took him personally and he just flat out and they just flat out score a goal saying you know what screw you we're fuck you we're going to we're going to come at you and <laughs> yeah i tell you what we deserve that 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 goal should not happen that goal should not happen it was funny at first and then they took it personally and john Lud ludwig gets his first goal of the season off the wrist shot now that's assist by lars eller that's his eighth assist of the season and drew o'connor that's his 10th Assist of the season. Wrist shot is John Ludwig. So, congrats to John Ludwig getting his first goal of the season. Now the score is 5-2. And that shall remain like that for the rest of the game. Florida is trying to add on to the lead. Pittsburgh trying to add on to the lead. But Broski was right there. And all the Tristan Chari um, struggling to keep up with the Florida's offense. But in the end, Florida winds up winning this one. As the final score in this game is 5-2. to two. When we look at the team stats, Pittsburgh had more shots. But Broski is just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it equals out with the hits. Uh, Face-off wins is Pittsburgh. Power play opportunities is Pittsburgh. Florida had two power play opportunities. But they made one. And that was the Aaron Eckblad one. Now, the only downside of the game is Sam Reinhardt did not get the power play goal, nor he scored the goal in this game. But you know what? You can't score every single game. I'll be shocked if they, if they have done so. Um, so Florida obviously got more penalties, you know. Because it's Pittsburgh. That's referee's favorite team. Um, so we got more penalty minutes. They, got more, they blocked more shots. We have one more takeaway. They had more giveaways. Uh, so... In this paper, Pittsburgh should probably deserve to win this game, right? Well, Tristan Chari, the only thing that the only thing that, that went wrong for them is Tristan Chari's not playing his best goal goal hockey game for Pittsburgh, and Florida's offense was just too much. So, I mean, Florida has won this game, uh, five to two. Um, so stars of the game. Well, yeah, stars of the game. One star, Anton Lundell with two goals. Matthew Kachuk with two with with two stars, um, with one goal, two assists. And they give the and three stars. They gave it to Jake Gwenzel. I mean, really, Gwenzel? Why not? Why not Evan Rodriguez? You can make the case for Evan Rodriguez. He has two. This guy has two assists. Okay, Rodriguez has. To, oh, no, 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 no. Matter of fact, matter of fact, you have to give it to Gajovic. I, I'd say, I'd say Gajovic, um, Gajovic or uh, Lundell. Really, you really should have given it to Lundell, but Gwenzel? He had one assist. He had one assist of the game. Evan Rodriguez had, has two assists. I'm not joking. You could read it off. If you, read, you can read this off if you like, but the but the facts are there. He has two assists. He assisted Matthew Kachuk out of the penalty box, and then he comes back and assists Aaron Ekblad off the power play. That is what you could have at least given with the three stars, but you give it the guy who only had one assist. 
NHL's favorite team. I'm telling you flat out. Anyway, Florida Panthers is not can't rest too much yet because in a 24-hour span, they go up north from Pittsburgh, which is I want to say about a six-hour drive even from Pittsburgh. They go up to Buffalo, Western New York, to play against the Buffalo Sabres. That's a seven o'clock um, face-off, and that goes back on Bally Sports. So that's good to do for this video, folks. Uh, for for tonight's Valentine's Day, Flor uh, Miami Sports. South Florida sports is two for one. Well, at least for me, at least. Two to one. Hurricanes definitely um, lose. But the Heat outlast in Philadelphia 76ers. And Florida Panthers winning against Pittsburgh Penguins in this TNT matchup. And I just realized, two South Florida teams in Pennsylvania. You got the Miami Heat in the east side of Pennsylvania uh, playing against Philadelphia. And then you got the Florida Panthers in western Pennsylvania playing against Pittsburgh. Kind of funny, right? And then... In the end, South Florida definitely sweeps uh, Pennsylvania sports. Yeah, I said Pennsylvania sports. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's going to do this one, folks. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our content, because Miami TVG gets back. And when he does, hit me right there with your favorite team you deserve. As we put the Miami sports flag in the state of Pennsylvania, all kidding aside, I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Miami sports recaps. This is Miami TVG. Sign up, folks. Good night, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day.